Hi, if you're listening to this, that means that you've done the background where you listen to the videos about what an infographic is. You looked at the chart um, to see what goes in an infographic. And so now we're to the point where we need to work backwards a little bit and we're going to work on our Google form first. The infographic will be um, where we kind of share out the answers we get to our Google form. And so what we're going to do is make a, a brainstorm sheet. This will make it a lot easier when I get to the Google form itself. I'll already know the kind of questions and my answers. It'll be a lot easier to pick and choose uh, when I create my Google form. And so um, in case you're like, I, where did you get this table, Misty? If you recall, you were working on this sheet previously um, that briefly explained that you're going to do an infographic because you're going to use your Google drawing results to kind of share out your information. And so you should have listened to the video on infographics, which was like two or three minutes. And then you should have looked at the link here that talks about what kind of things go in an infographic. And then I asked you to kind of uh, go out and Google images of different kinds of infographics that'll give you kind of a source of inspiration when you get to that point. And so now with that background, we're ready to um, go backwards and work on the questions and work on our Google form. That's our first step in being able to get to making an infographic. So if you click here um, and then file, make a copy, you will have the table that I have right here up on my screen. Okay, so once you do that, uh, it looks like a really long sheet. Don't panic. Um, I'll go through this, but, you know, topic, my goal, and then you'll just see that a lot of these boxes are for each separate question. And if you remember from the requirement sheet, you must have six questions, but you can have up to 10. And so I have... Uh, 10 boxes, and you'll see that I didn't have a 10th question, so mine's blank. So if you only go to six, you'll have blanks. Okay, so quite simple. It's just a brainstorm. I'm not collecting it. Um, it's for you to help you work smarter, not harder. And so you're just going to kind of fill in these things to get what's in your head down on paper. And so when I worked through this, I decided that the topic that I was going to do was vacations. And so I just typed in vacations. The goal from the topic was. I kind of just made a, uh, a statement. I wanted to reveal attributes about students when they take vacations. In other words, I wanted to um, see what kinds of things students do to either prepare or get there or what, when they're there, what do they do? So I wanted to just learn some various things about that. And then down the next box is just a reminder and it says, remember that you should be making multiple choice style questions. And then I just remind you, are you asking the right kind of questions to reach your desired goal? And so my goal is I need to be careful that am I making multiple choice questions that are going to get answers that tell me about choices students make when they take vacations. And so here it's a reminder box. So all I did was I just typed, okay, I got it. And then simply the rest of them are just, I set them all up the same. It says question one, answer choices, question two, answer choices, so on and so forth. And so what I did was I just started to plug in uh, my questions and they don't necessarily need to be in any kind of order right here. It's a brainstorm and I can um, reorder them when I go to make my Google form if I would like to. And so, for example, my first question, I just used a cue and I just said, if you're going on vacation, what type of place do you desire the most? And then my answer choices, I put an A and I came up with things like camping and wilderness and a cruise and road trip by car. And then other, I decided that I would make a chance for students to um, fill in something that maybe I didn't cover in these categories. You'll also notice that for me, I'm, I like color coding. And so for me, all of my questions are in green. And then I just put all of my answer options in yellow. That way it's clear for me to see um, what I have when I go to make my Google form. And so that's it, gang. So right now you just need to take some, sp take some time. What's going to be your topic? Think of your goal, what kind of information do you want to have about that topic, and then you just start doing your questions with uh, answer options. And so when you get to the bottom, at least when you've filled in six, you'll see that I've reminded you that now that you've completed this chart, um, you're ready to make your Google form. So happy question making.